Okay, you have to stand closer and pretend you like me. <laughs> Do I hey, have to? Yeah, you have to. <laughs> okay, you have go to. Ahead. It's go mandatory. Ahead. Mandatory. Go okay, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Okay, go. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> you just fell off when you were hugging. <laughs> Grace, we're never going to get started. <laughs> These are the outtakes of the century. <laughs> Hey boys and girls, um, it's uh, back to Monroe Live again here and I'm with my lovely wife Susan and we are standing in front of our yes. Rivia. Now yes. um, we decided we were going to have a, a one year anniversary yeah. kind of chat about what we've experienced with this uh, truck. So we got how many miles? 8,000, about 8,500. Yep. So anyways, 8,500 miles, mostly Sioux drives. It, um, I don't get much of an opportunity, but anyway, at the end of the day, we've used this thing, um, considerably. I've taken it off road. Um, we've, we've driven in pretty much anything you can imagine as far as snow or sleet or mud. And, um, and quite frankly, for me, it's handled wonderfully. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but uh, I'm an off-roading kind of guy. So what I want to do is start off with Sue and let her, um, explain the things that she likes the best. Well, about Perfect. the truck. Perfect. So <clears throat> I do love this truck. I really think it's amazing. We live in Michigan, so weather, we have all sorts of type of weather. Of notable interest, obviously we're in the winter time, so this car handles tremendous in the winter. So I think everyone knows it's got snow mode, and I gotta tell you, this thing does not slip and slide on the road. I've had it when it's been icy and snow, and it just, it's perfect. It, I don't know, do, do you agree? It, it does not yeah. slide, it doesn't fishtail, it doesn't do anything, despite its immense torque, right? This is the 135 kilowatt battery, plenty of torque, plenty of action on this. The other thing is, um, this is a truck. So I will say that, you know, entry egress into these doors is quite difficult. Now I got long legs, I happen to be very grateful for that. But I, I can tell by other individuals who come in and out of my car, um, they have a really tough time navigating in and out. So Rivian, in their infinite wisdom, put in kneel mode. Great. So you, you, when you exit the car, the car will drop, I, I think it's about six inches for kneel mode to make ingress, egress much easier. That's really nice. However, I do have one complaint, Rivian. Sorry. I like your sill plate here. However, it could really use a nice, better door scuff plate here. You can see I put some protective uh, tape there. Um, despite that, I didn't put that on fast enough and a lot of people have nicked up my paint, which I will take care of very shortly at the service center and get something done more professionally by Rivian. But other than that, that, that works really well. Some of the other aspects I, I really like are the, the, the sheer number of updates that happen. They do happen monthly, just about. Um, the last one that I remember had something to do with increasing the range. This car, I believe, is equipped with around 300 miles of range when we first got it. The new o OTA that came, I think Rivian stated, maybe up to 28 miles. I think... Um, 28 extra miles. 28 extra miles. Yeah. I think most people have noted that it's maybe closer to the 14 or 16 mark, but nonetheless, it's still better than what it was making it probably one of the, the most uh, longest range vehicles on the market today. That's amazing. Um, well, didn't, didn't we get some notification about this thing? I'm oh, carrying this. Yeah, the key fob. Yeah, the yeah, key, the key fob, fob also has an update, which I have not yet been able to do. I have to, I have to do that. That also has something to do with increasing the battery life of some kind. Um, yeah. So I have not done that yet, but yeah, that was an up update that just came through. That was the latest update that came through right. amongst the other ones that come through. They do a really great job on the screen explaining what that looks like. Tesla does the same. The, uh, there's a ton of things I like about it, but they're very much an EV sort of offering with the, the auto dimming headlights and, and brights and things of that nature. Um, the auto tonneau cover, I love. I love these little little side cavities that, we, that, we, that everyone knows about, but they are really truly handy. I mean, they are truly handy. We put our groceries in here so they don't go rolling around. 
but um, it, it, the car is just incredible. You can see <laughs> Somebody that, forgot the dirt. So you can this see is we what use it normally the car. looks like. We yeah. use the car a lot. That's a yeah. good thing. That's yeah. a good thing. We do. Okay, yes, yeah, somebody keyed our car. We didn't like that, but that's okay. You know? There's We're going to get that fixed. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. The, um, I think maybe, uh, I'm trying to think of some of the other things. Well, I will say, I, there's a lot of things I love about the car. Since we talked about the door sills that that are getting scuffed on the car. Um, the one thing that I think is maybe a miss for Rivian here is the fact that the car doesn't come with an induction um, power for my phone. So the days of- But we of, have one now. Now we have one. So we got this aftermarket one, right? It's not yeah. offered by Rivian, right? So no. this is the aftermarket version of and the And that's my phone, the phone on it. <laughs> the, yeah. the phone charger. Yeah. Because the days of cords and cars should be should be gone. So we had an octopus bunch of cords uh, coming from the console. It looks tacky. This is much nicer. So um, got got to love that. So I'm glad that at least we got that as a as a feature. This video is sponsored by T Wraps and their MagSafe charger for the Rivian R1T and R1S. And um, let me show you how it works. So let me show you just how easy this is. So you open up, you drop, fish the wires where the two uh, little valleys are, and then search in the dark here. See if I can get this thing to... There we go. Close her up. Drop your phone. Oh, and there we go. Charging. So T-Wrap, thank you so much. Um... I love it. Thanks. Bye. Visit TRAPS.com to order yours today. One last thing. I know this is all about what I love about my car because there are so many, but there's one more thing, Rivian, that I'd like you to consider. So I'm going to shut the door here. It's in the back. <laughs> so I can't help it. Yeah. So go ahead. We'll open the door. Right. So I'm going to get in the car. So Again, this is a real use vehicle, right? It's, it's my everyday vehicle. So every day, if you're a working person, you pick up laundry and you have to find a place for it. There are no hooks up here on the headliner. So they give you this wonderful hook right here, which is great, but if you notice, it's wood, okay? This is real wood. It's really nice and hangers are made of steel and they literally are scratching the living lights out of the wood. So I have this wonderful little protector that I made, which is really sad, but I don't have a choice if I want to preserve that wonderful wood coating. So I have my little protector sheet here. So think about that going forward. Um, this is a very nice piece, but maybe not in the best application. The other thing I would like to recommend while we're on this is I'd like to see this pop out a bit. Oh, for the because, hangers? They're yeah. Hard to get in. Yeah, they're hard to get in and you can only get a few in. Yeah, I know you could put them on the grab handle, but then the, the hanger sits out here and then the clothes and you shut it down. I, it doesn't quite work. So all well and good. But I mean, the speaker system is to die for, right? Yeah. Yes. Um, the sound system's great. There's a ton of storage capability. It's a truck and it drives like a dream. Um, all the auto f driving features work as planned. I, I just... I love the lane department. There's not anything I don't like about this car, really, other than the, the few minor improvements that I think are just generic tweaks. Yeah, yeah. So um, one of the things that, it seems we were talking about the speaker system, one of the things that I'd, I'd really like to see, um, not just uh, Rivian, but also Tesla, Ford, um, Polestar, anybody, uh, do is I'd like them to see what they can do about giving us back AM radio. Um, we live in an area that gets storms, a lot of storms, and um, and AM radio is kind of handy for that, um, along with news and stuff like that. I I know that uh, everybody'd like to make a few extra bucks <clears throat> with the other uh, the other you know subscriptions you can buy, but I'd really like to see AM come back. Um, the other thing that Sue mentioned that uh, I'm really happy with, now I realize that other people have had problems, but we have not. No, we have not. Uh, and I'll tell you, um, I love this. This thing works better. Let me drop that. 
<clears throat> what works better than you can possibly believe. And I have, um, I've loaded this truck up. Um, I mean, completely loaded it up. Everything, including the, um, including the, this little doodad here. Um, because quite frankly, every time, if I have to do something, I wanna go to Ace Hardware once, that's it. I do not wanna have to do this thing four or five times. And this has a ton of storage. And, and if you're like me and you wanna have, um, you wanna get it done at one time, this is great. Now, is this a lightning? No, not at all. <clears throat> this is not the truck that I would use for hauling a bunch of cement blocks or whatever. And as you probably saw in the, uh, in the uh, movie that, or the video that uh, Corey did, he actually broke this thing by trying to put it, overloading it. This is a unibody, not, a, yeah. not like that. There's the F-150 over there torn apart. But I, I will tell you, for the everyday user, mm -hmm. for the guy that um, um, wants to have uh, the best truck he can possibly buy, for around the house, man, you can't beat it. Yeah. The Lightning is still my favorite work truck. There's nothing that comes close to it. And from, you know, uh, from the uh, reverse uh, power thing where I can power my, heart for, my house from it, I love yeah. that as well. But this, this is pretty damn yeah. good. Like I say, yeah. this isn't my car, <clears throat> it's Sue's. Yeah. Um, and um, and like I say, we absolutely love it. So you know what? I this tunnel cutter does come really, really in handy. So I I can remember multiple times when I've had things in this this bed. And what what I love about this tunnel cover is if it's partially hanging out, Here, you this. can actually index. You can actually index the cover to stop wherever you want, and it, it literally trap. The, the product between this seal and the and the tailgate. And it's just, it's like, that's a really great feature. It's sort of like its mm -hmm. own strap in a way. So yeah. I've used that a ton to trap product so it doesn't come flying out. Cause it'd be a drag to use bungee cords. It's just messy and Well, and that's I the other that. thing. This does come with uh, bungee cords and lots of other things. Um, for me, um, this car is wonderful but, uh, but based on everything we've seen in tearing it apart, I have no idea how they're ever gonna make money at it at the price we paid. We paid about 73 or 74,000 for this thing. Yeah. And it's worth every penny of 120 yeah. grand. It's like I say, there's nothing on the market like it. Yeah, I mean, um, full leather seats, the sound yeah, system. Right. It's amazing. <clears throat> People that would be thinking about buying a Hummer, this would be your better option. Yeah. First off, is lighter, and uh, and you can go off roading with it a little easier mm -hmm. without fear of getting stuck and whatnot. Um, because in some of the areas that we've got near our house in Lake Orion, uh, you could sink down considerably if you had something that was uh, uh, running around um, uh, five tons. This this is a this is a really like I say, I I like this truck a lot. Now, do they do everything as well as they could? <clears throat> Maybe. Uh, maybe not, um, but the things that you can find out is if you guys decide to uh, get into finding more about the truck is uh, we, we sell reports and there are reports on this truck and they look at every nut and bolt as normal. In fact, um, let me just grab one of these. <clears throat> so over here, um, there's a tour going on. Uh, that's what's in the background. But over here, you can see these are the ones for the Model Y. And so this is the body and chassis. This one is interiors and safety. This is the electrical topology. Um, the, other, the other ones for the, for the Model Y are not here, but that would be the electrics and the electronics and um, powertrain and all that other stuff. Um, probably somebody's looking at them. But... If you really, if you're um, a tier one or a tier two, um, like mostly the OEMs buy this. And quite frankly, now we sell them to almost every OEM. But if you're a tier one or tier two and you wanna find out the stuff you need to know about, these things come in bits and pieces. You can buy the whole chassis if you want to, but we also sell smaller versions of this for those people who are 
interested in only their types of products. So if you, uh, if you wanna know more about the Rivian, like in detail, like how much everything costs, how much everything weighs, how much, uh, how much labor it goes into putting a thing together, then you might wanna consider um, buying uh, our package on the Rivian or the, or the uh, F-150 or, or the Lightning, I should say, or any of the Tesla vehicles, the Bolt. We have all, almost all of them and they're there for your, uh, uh, for your uh, engineering enjoyment, I guess. So I will tell you one other thing that, um, that, that is a problem. Um, some of you will notice that there's a dent here. Uh, unfortunately, <clears throat> um, I backed into a um, trailer hitch. Um, I didn't know that they actually even made a trailer hitch that was that long, <laughs> but, um, but it didn't get detected by our rear system. Yeah. And, um, and the reason was because we had inadvertently turned it off. Yeah. Somehow the on, what you'd think is on, is actually off. Yeah. Yeah. So that would be something that if I was at, uh, at yeah. Rivian, I'd, I'd want to change. That, yeah, a little make bit. the toggles like the normal driving positions all be on. And then when you want to do something unique, that one you should turn off. But that one setting is, is for when the tailgate's down, then you're supposed to turn it off. And I just left it off or I or turned it on thinking it was on, but it's only when the tailgate's down that that works. So whatever is that setting is, it you should probably toggle it so that it fits the other settings. And if you happen to have one of these trailer hitches this long, <laughs> I curse you forever. Okay, but anyway, um, I think that, um, I think personally, uh, like I say, I drive this occasionally. Um, in fact, I drive our model, well, I drive the Lightning probably yeah. as much as anything. Yeah. Um, and I also drive our Model 3 yeah. and, and whatnot. I, I am an EV guy. I'm not really attached to any, except for, except for uh, Aptera, uh, which, uh, which I, we are definitely working mm -hmm. on, and yep. I think everybody on the planet knows that. But every other vehicle that we're working on, it's electric. As far as I'm concerned, I'm into electrification. I wanna, I wanna be the guy that people come to if they wanna know more about how does that product work, and I want to push and elevate anything that has to do with EV. So this vehicle is uh, no question about it. Um, makes Sue happy and happy wife, happy life. And I'll be even happier when they come out with V2H and V2V. There you so go. So I'm waiting for the update. I can okay. be your beta tester if you want. <laughs> okay, all right. So uh, before she goes into any more commercials, <laughs> thanks very much for watching Monroe Live. And uh, again, I'd like to thank my wonderful wife for coming here and um, and telling us what she thinks about the car. So long.